Get ready to see those buses out on the roads when you head downtown today. To celebrate the new rapid transit line, musicians are playing <laughs> at bus stops around the city. Carlos is live downtown. A lot of balloons around there as well. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, you don't usually see balloons at bus stops, Julia, but yes, it is a very big day here. Indigo Redline is up. Let's bring in Lauren Day, who is with Indigo. So you guys are going to have musicians here playing at different bus stops. What, what was the inspiration behind that, and what are you guys trying to accomplish with these musicians? So this is a celebration. It's a long time coming. I also wanted to be able to showcase some local musicians. We have amazing artists here in Indianapolis. So we worked with the Arts Council of Indianapolis and Square Cat Vinyl to help manage and recruit um, musicians so people could apply. We had over 120 applications, and we had only 20 spots. So as you travel throughout the system this week, you may get off on a station and hear some live music. Uh, and, and usually a bus would drown that out, but not with these buses because these buses are so quiet because they're electric, correct? They're battery electric buses, which is another benefit. That's right. So when it pulls up at a station, it's quiet. When you're riding, it's quiet. When you're standing at the station, if you want to hang out and listen to the artist longer, you're not going to get distracted by the bus. And speaking of celebrations, there's a celebration here today at the State House from 730 to 9. What can we expect with that? So, hence the balloons. Yes, mm -hmm. we are celebrating the opening of the red line, so it's open to the public. There's coffee going to be donated, donuts here. There's going to be some live music again as part of that project. Uh, and then speakers will be giving remarks about how we got to this place. So Congressman Carson will be here, the mayor, um, kind of talking about what it took to get here as a city and what we can expect moving forward. All right. Well, guys, coming up in a half an hour, we're going to talk to Lauren about what you need to know about riding the red line. It's been up for 48 hours, so have the kinks been worked out? Have we still have some things to work at? Looking both ways is a very big thing we'll talk about coming up in 30 minutes. Ben, Julia, back to you. Yeah, certainly a lot to know this morning. Looking forward to that, Carlos. Thank you so much.